In these tough economic times, some people are dealing with difficult choices in terms of what they can afford and may even forego a doctor or dentist visit unless it's an emergency. Joining me now is Dr. Shotzi Vincent from Aspen Dental to talk about the importance of maintaining your oral health. Hi there and welcome to the show again. It's nice to have you here. Thanks for having me. So how important is it to maintain your oral health when it comes to your overall health? Actually, our oral health is the gateway to our overall health. Oh, okay. Yes, because a lot of times the bacteria that's in our mouth travels to other parts of our body and it could lead to harmful things like diabetes, strokes, um, premature babies with low birth weights, and um, many things many that parts, you right? don't even realize, many ailments. So how important is it to keep those six-month uh, cleanings? It's really important to keep up with those six-month exams because if not, you know, if you let things go, not only one can it become very painful, but two, it can also become very expensive. So it's really great to try and keep up with your exam, you know, six, yep. every six months. So uh, one of those problems could turn into gum disease, I'm assuming. Yes, one of those problems could definitely turn into gum disease. But the thing with gum disease is that the beginning stages of gum disease is gingivitis. So if we catch it at that stage, that's good because it's reversible. But if you let it go for too long, it could turn into periodontal disease, and that could be destructive because that's where you could lose attachment to your teeth. Okay. So the uh, earlier we catch it, the better. Very good advice. So uh, you also screen for oral cancer when you go to these exams every six months. Yes. That's another important thing, too. All cancers on the rise, and especially for people that have a history of smoking in the past or smokers now, it's really important to do that. And at Aspen, we do offer a special oral cancer screening test, which is called Visalite Plus. And it's very simple to do. It takes like two minutes. So. And there's a light? How does that work? Exactly? Yes, it's a, it's a glow stick that we use. Oh, so we have okay. the patient rinse with the solution, and once they're done with that, we use a glow stick. And any atypical cells end up glowing. Oh. So it's much easier for us to see them without naked eye. All right, let's, uh, let's talk, to, talk about uh, dentures, people that have to wear them. How often should they go to the dentist? Um, same thing. Yep. Keep up with their regular exams every six months. But um, the American Dental Association does recommend that people change their dentures every five to six years because our mouth changes all the time. Correct? With age, we lose a certain amount of bone. And um, when you don't have any teeth, your bone shrinks also. So if you don't change, then what happens is that they end up not fitting properly, they could cause sores in your mouth. Mm -hmm. And not only that, but it's harder to chew and, you know, that could cause problems with nutrition. So maintain them. Exactly. Uh, before we started, we were talking about the importance of flossing and not everyone does it. No. <laughs> but it's important to, right? Yeah, absolutely. Because first of all, it prevents gum disease. And second of all, it gets rid of that bacteria that could travel to other parts of your body that can cause other problems. So you really should be doing it every day? You think? Yeah, twice I mean, a day. I love flossing. Twice a, twice a, day. a day. Even better. Okay. Um, so we were talking earlier about affordability. Mm -hmm. Are there options at Aspen Dental if you are running yeah. into tough economic times? Yeah, we know times are tough right now, and we do um, accept any type of insurance, but we also offer many type of payment plans to help with affordability because, you know, we want people to come in and get the care that they need and the care that they deserve. Because you cannot neglect your teeth. No, you cannot. Let's talk about uh, your trip to Haiti and you're going back. What are you yes. doing down there? Um, so we're providing dental care there. So we're going to be going at the end of January. And it's really crazy um, to believe, but in Haiti, there are only 500 dentists for the entire country. For the entire country. Wow. So if you think about it, the ratio of dentists per the population is the lowest in the whole Western Hemisphere. Like already they're lacking so much in the basic need. So in order for us to go there and just do the simple things that we can do, if it's a cleaning or extractions, it makes such a big difference. And a lot of times they don't go to the dentist because they don't have the access. Mm -hmm. And not only that, but after the earthquake, a lot of dental offices just got destroyed. So there's no access for them, but they just don't go and they end up, you know, waiting to the last minute and being in a lot of pain sure. and, you know, having an infection that could cause like major problems. So you're heading back down there to, yes. to do some good. Yeah, we're very excited to be heading back down there. All right, Dr. Benson, thank you so much for being here. Thanks and, for uh, having me. Thanks know the importance of uh, oral health care. For more information, you can call 1-800-ASPA-DENTAL or check out the website aspendental.com. Stay with us. A lot more Kinetic Style coming up after the break.